Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Sarah Golseth. I'm uh, holding down the fort today. Andy is, is still under the weather. We hope you get better soon, Andy. We, we need you back in studio so, I, so you can push all of the buttons on the board again. <laughs> Um, thanks to our underwriters, Concordia University, Wisconsin, for your support of the Coffee Hour. You can find out more about them at cuw.edu, or you can go to our website, kfuo.org, and uh, and find information about them in our underwriter section. Um, oh, it's it's a new month, uh, which means we have lots of new publications from our awesome LCMS communications team. Hopefully, everybody gets those in their mailboxes. I hope, I hope. Uh, and, and we do we do our Lutheran Witness preview every month. Uh, so so this month we get uh, a reporter preview. I guess it's not really a preview if it's already out in people's mailboxes. But uh, joining me in studio, uh, com- coming up from downstairs to join me this snowy Monday, Cheryl Magnus, Managing Editor of Reporter Online with LC Communications. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here again. Yeah. Did you, have you, have you gotten dug out? from all the snow (laughs) we have it was crazy i was very happy on friday when i got notice from my son's school that Mm. they would be dismissing at noon yeah um, because that allowed me to go get him and then we got early dismissal here at the ic as well so we all got to get home a little bit early which was very welcome yeah boy we got a dump we we did it was huge i yeah it was weird getting on the freeway from here there was like in one direction it was completely packed and in the other direction that I travel there was like nobody mm-hmm. and the road was completely covered in snow and it was a little weird mm-hmm. I was like, I, I, yeah but I yeah I was, I'm very thankful that I, I think everybody got home safely from around here anyway and uh especially reading all those reports in the evening on Friday Oof, yeah it was a it was a nasty mess it out was there. a very nasty commute home I heard President Harris and I think yeah. was stuck on 141 for like five, five hours? or six hours pushing people out <laughs> yeah oh man all right but en- enough complaining about snow <laughs> it is beautiful by the way and we had a fun bike ride in it on Friday night and I made a snow angel <laughs> My Chicago-born kid was very happy with the, with the snow. We yeah. had a lot of fun over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. it was good packing snow too. Yeah. Make snowmen in forts. Uh, but anyway, enough about snow. Uh, we're here to talk about reporter. Yes, for January. Um, uh, first, before we dig in, uh, what what is the reporter? The like super fast elevator speech. Who is it for? Sure, um, reporter is the LCMS's official newspaper, and it is mailed out monthly. The print reporter is mailed out monthly to all uh, rostered church workers, as well as a um, couple of leaders from each of our congregations. And so it, it is intended to provide news primarily to the leaders of Synod. Um, but we cover news that is of interest to anybody and anyone can subscribe to Reporter. Um, you can go to the um, reporter.lcms.org and find the about link up at the right hand left of your screen. And you can find out about how to subscribe to the print issue. Um, you can also subscribe to the online version and you can get uh, an update in your inbox anytime we post a new story. Yeah, I get those. Yeah. Those are fun. Little reporter updates. Mm-hmm. Uh, good story leads for us, too, to talk about all this all this great stuff that's going around uh, in the Synod. So uh, what what can we find in the January ed- edition? This is it is is packed with stuff. It is packed. The January issue is already out there. We're making plans right now for the February issue, um, which will come out in a couple of weeks. But in January, we had big reports from the LCMS Board of Directors and the LCMS Council of Presidents who met um, back in November. And they spent some time talking about um, our whole focus on demographics and retaining young adults in the church. And that kind of goes along with um, a three-year study that our youth ministry department recently finished, massive mm-hmm. study involving surveys and yeah. focus groups um, on young adult retention. So there's a lot about that in the January issue. Um, I'll just go ahead and go on. One of my favorite features mm-hmm. of every reporter is the photo spread. Yes. I think when people get so their good. reporter... They probably first turn um, either to the very back where we have notices. Of course. Yeah. (laughs) So you find out what people need, what people are giving away, who's doing what and Mm -hmm. all of that. So I know that's a popular 
monthly feature. Um, but I think people also quickly turn to the center spread because every month we have a collection of photos from our wonderful managing photojournalist, Eric Lunsford. Mm-hmm. Um, and for the January issue, we thought it would be fun just to take a look back over the entire year of 2018. And we asked Eric just to pick some of his favorite photos. So n- normally we have a theme for the photo spread and we focus mm-hmm. on schools or an event or something. Yeah. But he just picked um, a smattering of some of his favorite photos from 2018. So it's a very um, varied look at his work from this past year. And I have to share a little story. Um, (laughs) When we were laying out the photo spread, my idea for the title of this spread was something like Behind the Lens with Eric Lunsford. (laughs) And I bounced that off of him and he immediately said, nope, we're not going to do that because it's not about me. Mm -hmm. And so instead, the title of this photo spread um, comes from his description of taking one of the photos. Each, Each of the photos that he picked, he also included just some thoughts about what he was thinking, what he was trying to achieve with that particular photo. So at one point last year, he was visiting Family of God Lutheran Church in Detroit. Yeah. Um, And he describes taking this photo at that church. It was after a worship service there, and the pastor was talking to someone. I'm not sure if he was a visitor or a member of the church, but Eric just sort of planted himself behind those two as they were talking in a pew. Mm -hmm. And as he's um, thinking about the photo, he is telling himself, keep the cross center and the altar in front. Um, And so that became the title of our photo spread for January, because that's what Eric tries to do with all of his photos. It's not about him. It's always about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, written word is is fantastic. (laughs) Uh, And and reading stories is great. But having uh, having that addition of of the photography that that gives you a good visual Mm -hmm. of what is actually happening in in whatever story or article that you're reading is it it adds that extra little bit. Uh, and, And Eric's photos are just they're always great it's huge we (laughs) always try to get a good photo to go with the story Mm -hmm. and um it's not always easy to do if eric isn't the one taking the photos (laughs) if eric is there we know we're going to get great photos um but if he's not there then you know sometimes it's a little bit more challenging yeah yeah um we got it got to move on i could talk about photos all day (laughs) but uh, i'm holding uh uh, something that i think is is a very important uh and and this this insert on on uh, worker wellness that we can find this month. Tell me a little bit about this. Yes, we also had a four-page insert on worker wellness in January, and this goes back to the 2016 convention. Um, voters passed a resolution asking um, our Senate to put a lot of attention mm-hmm. at, on this issue of worker wellness. And so this insert just gives a broad overview of some of the things that have been going on. There's a new worker wellness website. There have been surveys. Mm -hmm. There are ongoing focus groups. And by the way, there is um, a new focus group that is looking for people to take part. The Mm -hmm. deadline for signing up for that new round of focus groups is January 18th. It's just a one hour commitment. So if you are an LCMS worker, um, and you don't, it do- doesn't mean just pastor, but it can mean deaconess, um, teacher, church musician. You're invited to take part in one of those worker wellness focus groups to give some feedback to our Office of National Mission about how to best serve workers. Yeah. And we've, we've been doing some, uh, some talks with, about this with, with uh, Heidi Gaiman and a few other people about, about all of this worker wellness, uh, all the different aspects of it. And it's so, so incredibly important. So uh, it, if, if nothing else, look at Eric's pictures and, and read this the worker wellness uh, insert. It's really great. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else do we have in, in the, in the January? In the January issue, we have stories about the um, upcoming um, LW. LWML <laughs> convention, which will be in June. It's their biennial convention. Mm-hmm. And registration for that opens on February 1st. So well, we have soon. a little, yeah, it's very soon. <laughs> and it's important to register early because the earlier you register, the lower the registration <sighs> fee will be. It mm-hmm. kind of goes up the closer you get to convention. Mm-hmm. So we have some information about that. Um, I mean, we could just, we could probably, I could probably talk for an hour about, you know, this issue and the next issue. <laughs> There's a lot in here. There's a lot in here and just 12 pages and we have yeah. ads too. So yeah. we fit an awful lot in, in That's our 12 true. pages. Um, we have a new resource from 
PALS, which stands for Post-Seminary Applied Learning and Support. This is from our pastoral ed department. And this new resource is um, about the pastor's life of prayer mm-hmm. and is just encouraging yeah. pastors and their families in personal devotion and personal prayer. I think, um, well, I think something else of, of note to mention is the, the Lutherans for Life essay contest. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Lutherans for Life are promoting an essay contest for elementary and high school students. Yeah. And in order to find out more about that, I think it goes by um, chapter. And so contact your local mm-hmm. Lutherans for Life chapter just to find more information about how to apply, uh, or how to submit an essay for that contest. Yeah. Uh, we could preview February, but we only have about a minute and a half left. And I don't want to spoil that for next month. Okay. So right. um, there was uh, there's there there's a, a, a staff writer position. Is that right? Yes. I wanted to take this opportunity yeah. to say that LCMS Communications is also seeking applications for a new staff editor slash writer. This is an in-house position. And so if you apply for this position, you should either be in St. Louis or willing to relocate to St. Louis. So if you're interested in more information about that, please go to lcms.org and go down to the bottom. Um, click on employment and you can go to um, find out more information about this position and see if you'd like to re- apply. Yeah. Yeah. And it and uh, it sounds kind of obvious. It's a staff writer. But what what would the staff writer uh, do <laughs> other than write, obviously? Exactly. But, but well, what would they be involved in? They would be involved potentially in just about everything that we do in LCMS Communications. Yeah, so um, basically a generalist, somebody that who could conceivably write for a reporter, for Lutherans Engage the World, for a Lutheran Witness, help with editing all of those, mm-hmm. and also write help write materials for um, our various departments here at the international center yeah there's a lot of stuff that gets written every day down there. you guys crank it out oh my it's goodness. pretty incredible it, it is it is <laughs> it's a great team down there i love working with them yeah absolutely all right so the january edition of the reporter you can find it uh subscribe or, or find the online edition reporter.lcms.org uh we'll have we'll have more stories in february in just a couple of weeks we'll we'll have, just have to have you back and talk about next issue i'll look forward to it i'll see you then cheryl magnus managing editor of reporter online with lcms communications thanks so much for joining me on the coffee hour thanks for having me that's all the time we have on the coffee hour i'm sarah golseth we'll be back tomorrow the coffee hour with andy and sarah is a production of kfuo to support the coffee hour and kfuo radio visit kfuo.org you can also text kfuo to 41444 or send an email to gifts at kfuo.org and you can call us at 800-844-0524 kfuo christ for you anytime anywhere